Unit Eight: The Story of My Village. Reading. Many years ago, my village was very poor. The villagers had to work hard in the fields all day and could hardly make ends meet. Their lives were simple, and they were in need of many things. Many people had to live in houses made of straw and mud, and few families had a radio or a TV set. However, in spite of the shortages, the villagers managed to send their children to school and college. They hoped that with an education of science and technology, their children could find a way of bettering their lives. The children have met their parents' wishes when they came back from college or technical high school. They introduced new farming methods, which resulted in bumper crops. They also helped the villagers grow cash crops for export. Soon, the lifestyle of my village changed. Today, people live in brick houses. In the evening, they can listen to the news on the radio or watch TV for entertainment. Sometimes they go to town on their motorbikes and do some shopping or to visit their friends. Our lives have changed a lot thanks to the knowledge our children brought home," said an old farmer. "And I always tell my grandchildren to study harder so that they can do even more for the village than their parents did." The story of my village. Reading. Many years ago, my village was very poor. The villagers had to work hard in the fields all day. And could hardly make ends meet. Their lives were simple, and they were in need of many things. Many people had to live in houses made of straw and mud, and few families had a radio or a TV set. However, in spite of the shortages, the villagers managed to send their children to school and college. They hoped that with an education of science and technology, their children could find a way of bettering their lives. The children have met their parents' wishes when they came back from college or technical high school. They introduced new farming methods, which resulted in bumper crops. They also helped the villagers grow cash crops for export. Soon, the lifestyle of my village changed. Today, people live in brick houses. In the evening, they can listen to the news on the radio or watch TV for entertainment. Sometimes they go to town on their motorbikes and do some shopping or to visit their friends. Our lives have changed a lot thanks to the knowledge our children brought home," said an old farmer. "And I always tell my grandchildren to study harder so that they can do even more for the village than their parents did." Unit Eight. Listening. Papferro used to be a small, quiet town on the south coast of England, but it has become a crowded and busy tourist resort now. They've completely destroyed its old atmosphere. The small old houses have been pulled down, and tall buildings have been put there instead. They've also built a big hotel in the middle of town. The narrow streets have been widened and resurfaced. So the big trees on the two sides of the street have been cut down. The large area of grassland in the suburbs of the town has been turned into an ugly car park. Even the old corner shop isn't there anymore. It has been replaced by a big department store, and there is an expensive restaurant where there used to be an old tea shop. Many people in Papferro are happy with the changes, as there are more jobs for them. But some people don't like the changes. They miss the quiet and peaceful life of the old town. Listening. Papferro used to be a small, quiet town on the south coast of England, but it has become a crowded and busy tourist resort now. They've completely destroyed its old atmosphere. The small old houses have been pulled down, and tall buildings have been put there instead. They've also built a big hotel in the middle of town. The narrow streets have been widened and resurfaced, 
so the big trees on the two sides of the street have been cut down. The large area of grassland in the suburbs of the town has been turned into an ugly car park. Even the old corner shop isn't there anymore. It has been replaced by a big department store. And there is an expensive restaurant where there used to be an old tea shop. Many people in Popvaro are happy with the changes, as there are more jobs for them. But some people don't like the changes. They miss the quiet and peaceful life of the old town. Unit 8 Listening Popvaro used to be a small, quiet town on the south coast of England. But it has become a crowded and busy tourist resort now. They've completely destroyed its old atmosphere. The small old houses have been pulled down, and tall buildings have been put there instead. They've also built a big hotel in the middle of town. The narrow streets have been widened and resurfaced, so the big trees on the two sides of the street have been cut down. The large area of grassland in the suburbs of the town has been turned into an ugly car park. Even the old corner shop isn't there anymore. It has been replaced by a big department store. And there is an expensive restaurant where there used to be an old tea shop. Many people in Popvaro are happy with the changes, as there are more jobs for them. But some people don't like the changes. They miss the quiet and peaceful life of the old town. Listening. Popvaro used to be a small, quiet town on the south coast of England, but it has become a crowded and busy tourist resort now. They've completely destroyed its old atmosphere. The small old houses have been pulled down, and tall buildings have been put there instead. They've also built a big hotel in the middle of town. The narrow streets have been widened and resurfaced, so the big trees on the two sides of the street have been cut down. The large area of grassland in the suburbs of the town has been turned into an ugly car park. Even the old corner shop isn't there anymore. It has been replaced by a big department store. And there is an expensive restaurant where there used to be an old tea shop. Many people in Popvaro are happy with the changes, as there are more jobs for them. But some people don't like the changes. They miss the quiet and peaceful life of the old town. Unit 8 Pronunciation Listen and repeat. Ow Cow Town How House, couch, mouse, o, coat, phone, bone, ball, note, close. Practice these sentences. 1. Don't shout so loudly. 2. Ours is the nicest house in the town. 3. At least we found the mouse under the couch. 4. Look at the red rose on the snow. 5. Come over to the window. 6. I'll put my coat on and go out. Unit 8. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Ow. Cow. Town. How. House. Couch. Mouse. O. Coat. Phone. Bone, ball, note, close. 
practice these sentences. 1. Don't shout so loudly. 2. Ours is the nicest house in the town. 3. At least we found the mouse under the couch. 4. Look at the red rose on the snow. 5. Come over to the window. 6. I'll put my coat on and go out.